Getting a facial is a great way to improve the look and health of your skin, but what if you could supercharge that facial by adding Botox into the mix? Board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Sheila Nazarian is backstage now with her patient, Chelsea, who's getting ready to get a Botox facial. All right, Dr. Nazarian, tell us about this facial. I actually call this facial a gold tip facial in my practice because so much more than just Botox can go into the vial. You can actually put hyaluronic acid like Juvederm or Belotero. You can put Botox, glutathione for skin lightening, B-complex to calm redness. There's so much that can go in there. So today for Chelsea, who's been suffering from a bit of acne and some redness, splotchy complexion, I actually put a little bit of Botox and a little bit of hyaluronic acid into our vial. So the vial actually looks like this and there's a bunch of small needles at the tip. And all we do is basically stamp it into her skin and you can see some of the liquid coming out. And actually, these needles have a spiral etched out in them that allows the fluid to actually go right into that epidermal dermal layer. So this Chelsea, is basically Can I ask it. you, Chelsea, how that feels? I honestly, it feels like nothing. Okay. Tiny okay. little, little pokes, barely the, anything. And you can see that it's turning a little red, so you, <laughs> you are clearly doing something to the skin. And that's really all the downtime that there is. It just looks like a little bit of flush for about 10 to 20 minutes. And there's a lot less downtime actually with this procedure than just microneedling. I know, Dr. Orden, you know that with microneedling there can be some pinpoint scabbing, there can be some more prolonged redness. But with this one, literally after 10, 20 minutes, depending on how dark the complexion is, it's gone and that's it. And so you can actually appreciate the results by that day. And Dr. Nazarian, just tell us how this delivery of Botox at this depth differs from traditional injection. The traditional way of injecting it is actually deeper into the muscle, which will actually paralyze that muscle. Like, if you look at my face, I literally did it like a few days ago. Look, that's as much as I can raise my eyebrows. That's as much of a frown I can make. So that is a paralysis of a muscle, so you don't get wrinkles. This is a lot more shallow, a lot more superficial. So what it's doing is actually preventing the capillaries from opening up. So people with rosacea or redness or flushing in their skin, they're gonna notice that they don't get as red when they're um, embarrassed or if they're nervous or in the sun. Well, I'd love if Dr. Nazarian could also address the, the hyaluronic acid that's in this, because this is sort of now a segue from the micro droplet technique. We've been talking about almost an injectable moisturizer. Can you elaborate on that, Dr. Exactly, Nazarian? so as you know, hyaluronic acid is a great moisturizer, a great <clears throat> plumper of the skin. So this way we're injecting it right into the skin rather than under the skin. Sometimes it can be difficult to measure exact depths when we're injecting it with a needle. Whereas with this, it's delivering it at 500 microns, microns predictably. So it's really just at the exact layer that we want it. And it's not giving a plumping effect to the face, but it does give a plumping effect to the skin itself. So question just for our viewers, how much does this treatment cost? So I've seen it range anywhere from $800 to $1,200 per treatment. Um, again, definitely on the more expensive side, but worth it to the patients for sure. We have a high demand for this procedure. And that, how long can you trip, typically expect these results to last? So typically I would say a month. We certainly have seen patients um, express that they've had it last for up to three months, but we typically see patients coming in about once a month and combining this with, you know, a microdermabrasion or um, a facial treatment. So oh. clearly so, this is a financial Right, it's, it's a commitment, a thousand, yes. a thousand dollars a month I think is, is a lot for what we would deem a facial. I would probably consider this more of a cosmetic treatment at, right. at that point. That's a good point, that point this, and I, I consider being done. this more a treatment too. I mean, it's a yeah. supercharged facial, Yeah, exactly. for sure. The other thing I really wanna to address too is for patients that have sweating or like oily skin, this is an amazing treatment. So I know a lot of men, for example, they sweat on their forehead and that is a big issue for them. They're always conscious of it. This is a great treatment. We're treating a groom right now, right before his wedding, so that he doesn't have that oily forehead. Chelsea, we hope you're happy with your result. Dr. Nazarian, thanks so much for sharing with Thank us. You so much. Yeah.